Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a mini organizational video um, and a little trip to Ikea to buy some things to help the organizing. Um, I just wanted to do it budget friendly. I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I just wanted to, well, I can't buy storage pieces that were actually furniture or larger pieces because we are renting and we don't have the space. And I don't want to have too many larger things to move when we move out because we already have a lot of, um, of small things that will be enough to pack up and move out of this house that we're renting. So yeah, so I have some clips from Ikea and then I will show you what I got and I will show you how I organized. I'm back and first little part just a mini haul nothing too excited too exciting but I got these little gravy sauce to go with these meatballs these for my kids so I will show you what I got um it's not the most exciting little trip to Ikea but it'll be the stuff I got will be helpful for me there's not really too much i can do with the space that we're in right now it's like 900 square feet and we're renting so it had all of the furniture from the people that own the home got a shoehorn for my husband i got four two packs of these they are like paper organizers i will show them um assembled or put put together i got this it's just a little storage bin, um, but what I liked about it is that it's, you know, shallow so I can slide it under the couch or under the bed. So that's what I liked about that. I maybe wish I would have got two, but I can, I'm close so I can always go back. Um, this is a hanging shoe organizer, like one that has the pockets. Um, so that's nice because we have quite the shoe situation over there and it is like organized and stuff, but I would like to have less shoes out there on display. Um, I got this rug. It's nice. I really like the back. It will stick to the floor well and it won't move around. And it's also good for um, like a heavy traffic area that our shoes will be coming in if they're wet or dirty. It's just nice and durable. Um, we have one there. It's the people that own the home. It's their rug. Um, so I'll just roll it up and store it somewhere neat for them. Um, I just like this will be nice to have in the future for us. And I honestly just liked the colors of it better. I mean, the other one's black and red and this is just <laughs> black and gray, but I, I just liked it more. So anyways, I just think little things like that sometimes can change a small space. And then I also got this six pack of cups for the kids. I like having plastic cups for them. I got these little plastic organizers. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with them, but I think like for a bathroom, cabinet or drawer i will use them it's sandy they were 50 cents a piece i maybe could even got more of those but like i said i'm close so i can always go back um i got dish brush and the last thing is this stool i kind of use this as a makeshift squatty potty because it's only five dollars five euro Feel kind of TMI sharing that, but anyways. So um, I will show you what I do with the little bit of organizational things that I have, a little before and after of the areas that I'm doing these little mini transformations on. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you in a minute. So yeah, here is the rug that was there. Um, it's fine, nothing wrong with it. But I saw the other one, and I know that I can take the other one with me and have it for whilst and i'll have to leave this one here when we do get a house so and there we have the after so i do wish it was kind of bigger like the other rug but um i think it'll do for now and the next thing i'll do 
is move some shoes and put them in this thing um, and probably hang it over here. Those are the shoes. Those belong to the people that usually live here. It's a long story, but we, um, they, they don't usually rent the place out. So, but they are renting it to us. So um, they weren't able to like completely clear it as much as like maybe you normally would when you were renting your home out, but it's no problem with us. They're literally like the best, nicest people ever. And literally it's made such a massive difference in our time here, moving to Ireland, having the opportunity to live in this home when like we couldn't be more grateful or more thankful. So I'm not complaining or anything, but it's just, it is like a somewhat smaller space um, for a family of four, but it's all good. But like I said, that's why I'm just doing a couple little things uh, just to kind of help uh, with organization. Okay, so here we have this. Nothing too fancy or out of the ordinary, but yeah, it'll be handy. So that's good. And then, oh no, that's heavy. Oh, <laughs> oh God. It's heavier than I thought. I'm gonna put this in here somewhere, I believe, and I'll check back in. Okay, perfect. Um, except, uh, anyways, I'll take care of that pile and I'll check back in. Okay, coats are put away and this is that area, so yeah, pretty good. It's not, you know, yeah, it, it looks kind of messy, <laughs> but it is kind of organized chaos. There's just only so much to do, and it would, you know, yeah. And then here is this space, so that looks a lot better. Okay, this is my part I'm dreading the most. <laughs> sure, I'm not alone with the kids artwork struggle. Oh God, and what to do with it. My kids like draw and stuff a lot. And then if they're around when I'm going to organize things, like I, of course I save some things. It'll be a paper like this and I'll be like, oh no, we have to save that. I worked 30 minutes on it. You know, I, I have to draw the line somewhere. So anyways, this is what I'm gonna organize and that's why I bought these paper things. So yeah, I wish we had a little stand. I did used to have a little stand, but. So here's a little before. Oh, look at this lovely piece of art. Just to fold it up, couple of papers, and staple together 15 times. Okay. And here's this organized markers and crayons and colored pencils and everything. Um, you know, mind you, this will last like probably no more than a week. We have cups and we'll give them a wash first before use so the space looks a good bit better there was a lot of little extra clutter i cleaned that up too i should i need to do something with the play-dohs but i'll figure that out um, i will probably use this to organize my older daughter's books because she's such a good cute sweet little reader um yeah and then i'll hopefully be able to slide it under the bed so there we have it I'll just put them. Okay, so, oh that's good yeah i wish i would have got a couple more of these i think they have one that's even larger too but this is a good size and i'd probably stick with this size um yeah and then designate each bin for something okay i went through this bin here and i took out some toys that just aren't used quite as frequently to store in here and the books that my daughter has already read and some random things 
So that's about that for now. At least all of the bins are pretty organized. So I'm going to go through and vacuum the floor and then I will put stuff under the bed or put the bins wherever they fit. Hey, um, it actually does slide under the bed pretty well. I don't know. I, I would just do it for things that you're not going to be going in and out of the bin. <laughs> um too frequently uh, it actually does uh work out pretty well so i'm really happy with that i'm just putting that back to that corner this bin fits under there nicely okay then i'm gonna organize these top two shelves Just finished vacuuming in our room. These little bins are very handy. For small spaces, it's just tucking things underneath the bed. Okay, I think that's about it for my mini organizational day. Um, I plan to maybe head back to Ikea over the next week or two. I might get another one or two of those bins that slide under the bed. Those are super handy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in another video. Bye.